Welcome back to Cognition, Episode 3, The Oracle. Alright, so it's been a couple days since I played. I took a little bit of a break. Um, I'm kind of at the point in the game where... Or I'm kind of at a point in the game where I'm getting a bit overwhelmed with everything I can do. Um, I really like the fact that the game has been building up new powers that I've been learning. I've been discovering new powers that I can do. So it's always changing up, you know, there's always something new to do. But at the same time... A dangerous thing I found in puzzle games is that the more things you can do and the more complex it is, the harder it is, at least for me, to solve puzzles because I start thinking... Th there's so many different ways you could approach a puzzle that I don't even know where to start. I, I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I definitely have that problem in adventure games. And now it's at the point where... I mean, what do I have? I have like three, maybe four different abilities. And now I can switch over to Cordelia and use her power, use her powers of, uh, what's it called, precognition, or something. Yeah, she can see the future. I can see the past. So now it's getting really, really complicated. There's so many different things I can do. I just don't even, I don't even know how to approach some of these puzzles. But uh, I might just make heavy use of the hint system in the game. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to go through, take my time, relax, take a deep breath, and just start with them one at a time and see what I can figure out. Alright, so one of the puzzles I need to solve, and you can pretty much find a list of what the puzzles in the game are by going to the hint system. So each of, this, each of these is basically something that needs to be solved. So I've got six right now. And one is the safe. I'm not going to send that hint just yet. All right, so there's a colored keypad. Let's just focus on this for now. Right. <coughs> right, so this is what I know about it. There's a keypad that uses colors for its password. Um, it requires a four color combination. And there are four examinable, prominent paintings in the house, or the apartment. So, obviously, these four paintings are the combination. But what I don't know, and what I need to figure out, is what order they go in. I could solve it by brute force, but I don't really want to do that, and I'm sure you're not supposed to. So, originally, I was thinking it might have something to do with the seasons, because two of the paintings have to do with the season. This is spring, and there's another one that's winter. But the other two paintings have nothing to do with the season, so I don't think that's it. So, alright, we have one painting here. That's green. So, there's a color. Let's go look at the others. I need to find something that will tell me what order they should be in. Hello, ghosts. How you doing? What, uh, what is that right there? Looks like some someone just left lettuce out on the countertop. I think maybe that's supposed to be a plant? Not really sure. Alright, so we've got green back there, and then we have this painting of a winter scene. So obviously that's white as the dominant color. Landscape art. I prefer paintings with people in them. And then we have this one, which we need to go upstairs to examine. Dominant color is... Dominant color is obviously blue. Kinda reminds me of The Shining. I don't... I don't see anything that could tell me what order they should be in. I mean, I could come up with some silly possible fits, like for example, I could think maybe the first... The first color is the one that's closest to the safe. And then the further you get away from the safe, that's the rest of the combination, or the reverse, the one furthest away from the safe, is the first one, and then the ones closer are the next ones, but why... There's no real reason to make that connection. I mean, that's just a random guess. But... 
You know, just in case, I'm gonna write that down. So purple, white, blue, green. Or the reverse. Alright, let's go look at the last one. Of which the dominant color is purple. It's like some sort of a sea thing. I don't even know what it is. Something you'd see in the sea. Yeah, this. Whoops, I just clicked my pen. I'm just gonna put that down, otherwise I'm gonna play with it. Alright, so there's four paintings with very prominent colors, so obviously these contain the combination. This one's... I think it is purple. There's a bit of blue, but I think purple's the dominant color. I don't know what to say. It's not really my thing. I could try that combination based on how far the, away they are from the safe, but that's... That just seems silly. I don't think you're supposed to do that. So it's possible that I'm just not supposed to solve it yet. I'm, I'm thinking that's probably it. I probably get more information about that later in uh, when I'm playing as Cordelia. That's my guess. I could send the hint in and see what comes back, but let's focus on other stuff for now. All right, so I know I've examined everything. Yeah, I've definitely examined everything. All right, so what else is there to do? Let's look at this list again. All right, so we have a bunch of visions. What's the other non-vision thing? What is this? There's a drawer in her room that I can't find a way to open. Which one was that? Was that this? This must be her junk drawer. Just a bunch of knickknacks inside. Hmm, this one? I can't open it, but I don't see a keyhole. Okay, so it's not opened with a key. This looks promising. Welp. I have no idea where that could be. I mean, maybe in the safe. A few necklaces and bracelets. I can't tell much from it. I prefer handcuffs. Even psychopaths need a place to write out checks and pay the bills. And I know I've already looked in... Here, I think. Didn't I? Doesn't look like I can... Whoa, what are you doing? Um, she just phased through that. Alright, come back, please. You have uncovered a new fifth ability. The ability to go through walls. God, I'd kill for a view like this. Alright, I've already heard that. Yeah, I've definitely examined everything, so I think I just need to do the visions. Alright, so... I know there's some visions I can't do until I've completed the others. In fact, I think there's only one vision that I can complete. I'm pretty sure the others are too fuzzy. I need to know more before I can do them. Right, like, let's just go over them. Because I don't remember exactly what they are. I know this one... This one over here I can't do. It's a slab of pink Oh, wait, look at this note again. I think that was from John, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was almost certainly from John to Cordelia. Okay. I can't forget to use my cognition powers, because I always do. I think I've already used them on this. I think I have. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now I'm just back as Cordelia. Um, so this tells me what I need to do. Something beyond your control. Help must come from outside yourself. So I'm guessing that means I need to do it from Erica's side. Is there anything for me to solve here, actually? Like, what am I... what do I need to do here that I haven't done? I bet he's one of those types who's... I need to know why she'd show up to the Bureau asking for help. What happened? Okay, yeah, that's the main mystery. What happened? Alright, showed up to the Bureau asking for help. Until I know that, I can't do anything here, so let's switch back. 
We know something was wrong. I remember seeing her discovering her powers for the first time. She, <clears throat> she wasn't doing too good with it. Davies. Didn't think I'd see you again. I think I remember what the one vision I have to do is, but let me just go through these. Just to make sure. So I'm pretty sure this one I can't do yet. Would you please get your brother for us? Miss? FBI? Yes, and we need to talk to your brother. Okay, but I need your help. I don't know what she's asking about. The vision starts to fall apart. If I knew more... Oh yeah, I need to know more for that too. I think I can just switch to them at will from here. I'm not sure which is which, just based on the icon. Let me just go for the first one, all the way on the right. After seeing her talk to Rose, I know what she does to wake up from a blackout like this. But it's not enough. I need to know what got her here. I'd bet that another vision could clue me in. Alright, so I can't do that one yet either. I think I need to do the one where she helps one of her brothers with that model thing he's working on. Would you please get your brother for us? Oh, already done this one. F yeah. Okay. Alright, what's... Th I think this is the one where she has to help her brother. Yeah, so let's see what this one is. Is that the one where I'm talking to... John? Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, I can't progress in any of the visions until I do... this one. So I need to figure out how to adjust this model, and I don't know how to figure that out. Maybe I do this. Did I did I seriously not try this before? I do keep forgetting about the cognition powers, so maybe. So so that's something that Keith is going to do sometime in the future. I've had this feeling before, but never focused on it like this. So is this from bef yeah, I think this is from before she actually like really used her powers or before the blackout. Unfortunately, that didn't actually help me solve the puzzle though. Models of planets. They're metal. Keith loves this sort of stuff. Me, I'm more interested in life on this planet. I should think of something else. Right, so I can use an item on it, but I have nothing to use on it. Uh, you know, let me ask him if he wants to sign this thing. I'm almost certain he won't do it until I help him with this, because he seems pretty pissed off right now, but let me just do it, just in case. Keith? Is it really so bad to sign away some legal claim? You still designed Enthon Towers, Keith. Your name might not be on the plaque, but you know it's an- No, it's not about plaques. It's about Max thinking he can take something that I busted my hump for and just turn it into another commodity, a another moneymaker. Are you sure that's what he's doing? This is a condominium, Keith, not a microchip patent. I'm not sure what he's up to, but I don't like it. Keith, I have a suggestion for how you could fix those planets uh, you're working on. Actually, I don't, sorry. Yeah? What's that? Well, this is going to go badly. Large wrench. Use the large wrench. Red. Adjust the red planet with it. Oh, you know what? It might not be the paintings that are the password to that safe. It actually might be the planets. Hmm. And turn it counterclockwise. No, Cordelia. I'm sure I already tried. I'll talk to you later, Keith. All right. So how, how would I find out how they need to be adjusted? I don't think this is going to do anything differently. I can't get it. 
I can tell there's something to see, but I'm not very good at this. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to see it. Okay, well, if she can't use her abilities to see it in the future, then can I go back to Erica and see it in the past? Let me see if I can find any memories relevant to Keith working on this thing. Ooh, I don't think I did this before. The oh, hello. This wrench definitely isn't the one to use, but I still need to lock the green planet in place. Look at that. I have a lot more control if I jiggle the wrench as I turn it. Okay, that helped, but that didn't quite narrow it down enough. I know it's not the small wrench, and it's something to do with the green planet, and it's something about jiggling, but that doesn't tell me exactly what to do. Unless maybe new options appear in that dialogue now that I've just done that. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Because I'm I know jiggling I know wasn't one of I the options. Oh, there we go. It just hit me. Keith needs to jiggle the hex keys when he makes adjustments with them. Bingo! Progress. Keith? Keith? I have a suggestion for how you could fix those planets you're working on. Yeah? What's that? Uh... The new options aren't showing up. I know it wasn't small, but... It didn't say whether it was medium or large. Uh... Medium? Use the medium wrench. Green? Adjust the green planet with it. Hmm. Uh, he didn't say whether it was clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's just do the first one. And turn it clockwise, but jiggle it when you do. Hmm. Interesting thought. If I... Wait. Yes, that's Aha. it. All right. Um... Should I see if he... I mean, did he just fix it? Should I see if he'll sign the thing now? Models of planets. Hmm. Can I see anything new with it now? I can't get it. Nope. All right, let's talk to him again. He's pretty gone. It's a good thing. Hmm, I guess he's caught up in his work right now. Keith. Will you sign these papers for Max? But I just can't get this calculation to match up. It matched up last time. Why doesn't this one? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, geez, that was easy. What's this? This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? Do I sign it? I don't know. It was with the papers that Max needed you to sign. Maybe this Jeff has to sign it also. Don't care, it's signed. If he doesn't need it, too bad. Now let me work. I need to see if I can... if I can just... Hmm. Jeff Therian. Who is that? If I ever knew that name, then I forgot it, because that doesn't ring a bell. But I think that's a bit of foreshadowing that this says something... Something that happened had to do with Jeff. I don't think they would have mentioned it if it wasn't relevant. All right, well, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to Max. I think he's in the office, right? Unless he just completely left. What's going on? <laughs> that 
That was like the vision I had down on the balcony, and it makes more sense now. She wasn't just seeing any old visions. She was seeing her brother dying. She lost consciousness there, which stopped the vision. Maybe I can pick up the trail to the rest of that incident someplace else. Okay. So that's what set the whole thing off. She was seeing herself. I think that was Cordelia. Right? Didn't I shoot Max as Cordelia earlier? So she was seeing herself killing her brother? Which I strongly suspect is from the Kane Killer? Because it's a brother or sister team, which is how the Kane Killer works? Hmm. Okay. So I think the next one would be... Uh, when she's in bed right after the blackout, which is... Which one is that? Uh, not that one. This one? Yeah, here we go. I am awake. I am awake. I am awake. I am awake! Cordelia! Hey, kid. Glad to see you're back. I was worried. I canceled a teleconference to be here with you. <laughs> so it's official. You're more important than two Australian businessmen. How are you feeling? Ugh. Like someone's been stacking sandbags in my head. I'm so glad you're back. We didn't know what happened and we had no idea how serious it was. If it was a fainting or a coma. And if it was a coma, if you were gone that long, I don't know what I'd do. Thank you, Keith. Um, hey, maybe we should let her rest, huh? She's finally back, and now you're trying to kick me out. No, I'm staying here until I see she's better. No, it's okay, Keith. I'm feeling better, really. You should get back to working. Don't let me having a little headache throw off your day. I don't know. I know you're protective, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm fine. Go. Alright, just please be okay. He's so worried. It's that same look in his eyes that was there when Mom and Dad died. Max, what happened? How, how did I get here? I don't know what happened. I was in my office, and suddenly I heard you cry out. I ran out and, and saw, saw you on the ground. We weren't sure if you hit your head, so it's quite a relief to have you talking right now. Max, I need to tell you something. I passed out because I saw it. something awful. But I didn't just see it. I, I felt it. It was you getting killed, Max. What do you mean, saw? Saw how? Remember how I could always win the shell game at the Topsfield Fair? Yeah, but that was luck, Cordelia. You've always had a lucky streak. Look, I wanted Keith out of here because I didn't want him to worry, but I'm making a point of telling you because I do want you to worry. You need to be careful. We wouldn't be living on the 33rd floor if I'd been careful, Cordelia. Sorry. I'm just under a lot of pressure lately. Look. I don't know what you want here. I wasn't planning on taking candy for many strangers, but nor am I going to live in a vault until you give me the all clear. <sighs> okay. Could you at least get me something? It's in the desk drawer over there. But you have to push the catch that's underneath or it won't open. Sure. When we're done talking. Okay, before I continue, by the way, if you hear, like, a little bit of guitar in the background, um, that's someone actually playing guitar in my house, so... I don't, I don't know if you can hear it. It's not that loud, but if you do hear it, it's not phantom music. So, no, you haven't lost your mind. <laughs> okay, well, now I know how to open that drawer. It's interesting that she had that vision right after Keith signed the papers. Did that set it off? Signing those papers? 
You know, like, did that set something in motion that wouldn't have happened if she hadn't? Hmm. I helped out Keith, got him back on track, and now he's onto a new project. He's a machine. Sometimes more literally than I'd like. Has he remembered to eat today? Oh, he's fine. It's good when he gets engaged. Maybe he'll pop out something brilliant we can make, market, and sell. That's part of why having so little media exposure is good for him. For all of us. If any of the tech firms found out how brilliant he is at this stuff, they'd kill us in our sleep to get him. The last thing we need is someone trying to pull this family apart. You know, sometimes I wish you'd see him as your brother. I do, Cordelia, I do. He's my genius brother. It seems more like Max sees Keith as a production factory of ideas to make him money. Which is kind of strange because he's already rich. Once you're rich, who cares about making more money? You're set. At least I wouldn't care. Hey, did you get Keith to sign those papers? Here you go. Signed? Great! This makes things much easier. Thank you. You're the best sister I've ever had. And by that logic, also the worst. True, you are also the worst. Mom and Dad's anniversary is coming up. What are you talking about? They married in the spring. No, I mean the crash. The accident. Oh, yeah. I guess it is coming up. You know, I hate it when you call that the anniversary. It's not a happy thing. I'll be sure to leave that day clear so we can go visit their graves. Ah, Jeff Therian. A name that's been on my mind. Who is that? There's this name, Jeff Therian, on one of these papers Keith signed. Is that a mistake? What? No, it's fine. He's just another person who's mixed up in all of this. But I feel I've heard that name before. And why is it on Keith's claim release? Oh, I wouldn't know. This is all lawyer stuff. Scorobius drafted these up. Well, I'll ask him about it then. Cordelia. I'm sure it's nothing. Just let it go. Mom's necklace? I haven't seen this thing in years. I've been keeping it safe. Well, that was interesting. She saw me. Really saw me. Before it was just glimpses, but I think she really knows who I am now. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. And I'm glad I've got you on my side. Hmm. Well, I know she wants my help. And I know I saw her kill someone, but she doesn't seem like a murderer. She doesn't sound at all evil or angry about anything, so unless something changed majorly, I, I, there must be something else going on. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to that drawer and open it up. Oh wait, no, it's this way. All right. Let's see what you've got in here. Hello. If Madison Davies is actually sharp enough to figure out that the man hanging at her crime scene is the killer she's looking for, she might actually deserve to live. Madison Davies, as it turns out, she wasn't sharp enough and she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> is that why she was 
killed? Because she was too stupid? <laughs> oh, that'd be really mean. All right, there's a diagram of the body looking at that little hidden compartment with the picture. All right, pursuing Longmore. I have Anthony in holding for now. Actually, can I ever read this? Or no? Okay. Uh, there was an awful kind of pity I felt when he started talking to me, moaning on and on about repentance. When I was following him down the street, he had a certain swagger. But as soon as I grabbed him and uh, shoved him into the van, he became something else entirely. Just a blind, scared animal trying to fulfill its needs when it thinks no one is looking. I need him alive and unspoiled for the hanging. It's like Dad used to joke. Life is nature's way of keeping meat fresh. <laughs> oh, your dad sounds lovely. Ooh, what is this? A safe photo of Davies will have the combination for it. Wait, photo of Davies? Is that what that says? Davies? Well, this is stuff I've already done, so I don't really need to know this. Email, computer, yeah, that's the whole computer system, Longmore's apartment. I found a lot of sad... I'm not forget at reading people's handwriting, by the way. That's why I keep pausing. I found a lot of sad bastard stuff in his home. Is that what this says? Bastard stuff? Oh yeah, sad bastard stuff. Okay. Single serving frozen dinners, a uh, tiny little bed, porn tapes that, that he must have bought back in the 80s, journal entries to his dead mother. Forget whether he deserves what he's whether he deserves what he's got coming. Maybe he wants it. While digging around, I found a photograph of a woman he killed tucked under a panel in the floor. Sarah Goodman, I can use this. Alright, that's that uh, La Pondu thing. What the fuck? It was clear someone was playing a game with me, but seeing all the details calculated out, God, it makes my skin crawl. Yeah, I mean, she or whoever wrote this, I'm pretty sure this is written by Cordelia, though planned all of this out, but I don't know what for, what exactly was trying to be done. Alright, so this is about Psy and the Psy symbol. Alright, that that symbol, the Psy symbol that Rose showed me a few years back, I was playing around with it and I can just about line up the positions of the hangman's killings to overlay onto its shape. It's perfect. Sometimes it's as if the whole world is trying to help you and tell you what you're doing is right. Hmm. Huh. Alright, so she used the symbol to lead me to the killings or something? I don't know. Tattoo. I need to add the size symbol to the scene without it being too obvious a plant. I figured it out. A tattoo on Antony, but I can't risk getting him tattooed by a professional. What to do? I'll do it myself. I went to the butcher and got some pigskin to practice on. I'm getting comfortable with the tools. Tonight I'll sedate him, tomorrow he'll wake up with ink in his arm. Now I just need to figure out where I should hide the final piece of the La Pondu. Alright, so that, that tattoo was a plant, not surprisingly. Joey Gothals. I just brought him back. I didn't like the idea of having two live victims locked up together, but it won't be for long. And, and it's a necessity if this is to work out. Joey's anxiety was getting out of hand, so I had to dose him back down. Now he's lolling his head like a newborn baby. This is written by Cordelia, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, this is... Uh, that's where Soli was tied up. Yep. Jared Sullivan. I got the injection machine set up today, but I've decided to wait before clamping Jared into it. I want this to be fair, and I wouldn't want him dying of thirst. I don't want to set her off uh, too much and send her on a warpath. Not until after she's arrived here to the towers. Bringing it home. I've got the apartment all ready for tonight. Once, once Joey starts his fall, there won't be any turning back. Erica will be here, and she will have earned it. I'll need to hold Joey up, breathe, and let him go. And this vision I've been having lately. I need to make sure I'm gone when Erica gets here. If I'm not here, then the events in the vision can't come to be. The order in which they suffered 
remember to set combination. Wait, is that... That's for the, uh, the colored panel, right? Yeah. The order in which they suffered. Remember to set combination. But how is that tied to color? And there's six here, and it only requires four. Hmm, that's the end of it. The order in which they suffered. Well, I mean, it's, it's right here. Isn't it? I mean, the first one was Anthony Longmore. Yeah. Write that down, Antony. And then after that, uh... Wait a minute. Who was after that? I mean, if it's just going by the order of this, then the next one would be Joey, but is this just for the killers? I'm confused. No, I think it's just... I think it's just the order that they're written in here. Alright, then it was Sully. I'm not sure what this has to do with color, though. Alright, it's Madison Davies. I don't... I'm not sure who the other ones are of. They're kind of too small to see. Hmm. Where was Madison... When was Madison Davies killed? That was after Anthony Longmore, obviously. Actually, that was at the end of the first episode. So it was after Anthony Longmore. So it was Anthony, and then Davies, and then Joey, and then Sully? Alright, well. I think that's about all I'm gonna get from that. Aside from the journal... The drawer also has a folder with notes on John and Sully. I'll grab that as well. Let's see. Okay, John McCoy. He's a pig and an idiot. <laughs> More interested in fried food and ball games than doing any serious work. He appears to have been a decent agent and at one point, uh, at one point, but he seems to be just coasting along now, putting the minimum amount of work until his retirement. For this reason alone, he should be on my list. But he did try to help me once. Okay, hold on. For this reason alone, he should be on my list. Again, I'm pretty sure this is from Cordelia. I'm almost certain. I just noticed something else, but before that, um, let me finish my thought. She was talking about how Davies had failed the investigation into what happened to her brother, if I'm remembering right. So she seems to be very pissed off at people who don't do their jobs or fail at catching killers. So she... I guess because they failed her and her brother... He should be on my list. And she said that I had earned... Well, like, once I get to the towers, I've earned it. But... Why does she want me to earn it? Like, if she wants me to do something, why doesn't she just tell me... What she wants me to do and give me all of this evidence? Why does she turn it into, like, a game? Why does she turn it into something that Erica had to solve? I don't know. Alright. It didn't make a damn bit of difference, but still. He listened, and he seemed to care. I'm not sure if he belongs with these others or not. Alright, this is the other thing I just noticed. Sean Patience. That's a name on one of the paintings. Why is that there? Hmm. Th that's gotta tell me the order of the colors. Alright, so I'm going to go back through these and just look at which order they show up in, but until then, I'm just going to finish reading it. We'll see how this plays out. He still has time to reveal himself as worthy of living. And there's his agent ID. Alright, what's the next one? I've already done these, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's... Yeah, that's the symbol on the winter painting. 
Okay, yes, yeah, so this is giving me the order. Alright, let me write this down. Yep, that is the order. I'm not sure which painting that was for, but I will find out. Okay, that's Sean Patience. And there's the other one, whatever that scribbling says. All right, Jared Sullivan. He was working with the Boston FBI at the time of Max's death, so I'll be looking into him. So yeah, she's been investigating everyone who looked into Max's death. I've determined he was not in any way with the investigation, nothing outstanding about him, and he's of no special note. This goes into the discard pile. Wait, if he's of no significant note, then why did she take him? Hmm. Something very interesting happened while I was out while I was out watching. I pulled this file out of the discarded pile because of what I saw. Jared Sullivan was walking hand in hand with Erica Reed. Okay, so she's taken note of me for some reason. I didn't like seeing it, but there's a connection between them. Well, sort of. Erica seemed uncomfortable and cagey. I wondered if it was going to fizzle out soon. To test, I bumped into him after he dropped her off. It'll be a little while before he's close enough to her to be useful, but I can wait. I've waited before. This could fit very well. Could be a little while before he's close enough to her to be useful. What the fuck? Is this really Cordelia? Because this is sick. She was waiting until Sully meant something deep to Erica. So that she could maim him and turn into a fucking puzzle? And have me save him? What the fuck? It, do it doesn't seem like the Cordelia that I've seen so far. Hmm. I've been searching for something that will get her fired up, and this just might be it. I need to know that she's more than simply attentive, and... What the hell does that say? Uh... I don't know what that says. Hmm. I need to see if she'll let her emotions cloud her judgment. Time to intercept. The best way to shake up Erica will be to take Jared away while they're at the FBI station. There's nothing like making people feel unsafe in their own home. Indeed. Blonde wig. Practice accent. Get shirt. Wait, so she posed as... Wait, what? Isn't that... I'm confused. I'm thinking back to episode two. That's, um... What was her name? Tess? Tess something? But wasn't it established that she wasn't the one? That did it? And that looks like Tess, and it's saying practice accent, I know she had like a southern accent or something like that. And blonde wig, but wasn't it established she wasn't the one, it was someone else? So what is this? Why is it saying practice accent? Hmm. Wait, haven't I already read this? Yeah, I think I've already read this. These two. Haven't I? Was that the po- was this? Yeah, yeah, I've already read this. Okay. Hmm. Not really sure what to make of all that. But let's go to the paintings. Oh, shit, wait, I- should have looked at the painting in there. Alright, so yeah, the winter one is that one with that symbol, so that's the first one. Is this? I think this one's Sean Patience. Yep. Alright, so purple.
Okay, so that one is blue. And that means the last one, of course, must be the green one. Right at the safe. So white, blue, purple, and green. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> you know what? I don't think this is gonna work. It's the order in which they suffered. I think... I don't think it's what comes first in the journal. I think it's, well, the order they suffered in. So this probably isn't gonna work, but let's try it anyway. Alright, so white. Blue. Purple. And green. Nope. Still locked. Okay. The uh, file is right here. Let's take a look. Davies. Wait. There we go. Okay. The order in which they suffered. Alright, which one's the winter? This is winter. This one is... Well, Davies. Alright, so Davies is white. I mean, the color associated with her is white. And this one is blue. Wait. Samuel McAdams, this one is... but he's... He's still alive. He'd have to be last then, I guess. Right? Alright, blue. Yeah, and he's he's still alive too, I don't understand. The order in which they suffered. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea, but let me keep collecting this. Alright, so, John. Just, I need to match the color with them. John is Sean Patience. Sean Patience is purple. Alright, and whatever the hell the other one is, it's green. Okay, where's the order in which they suffered? Uh, where was that? I had to flip the pages. I don't I don't think it's in here, I think it's in the something else. This? Yeah, that one. Okay. Um. Uh. I'm confused. <laughs> um. 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 I'm just gonna keep saying um until I solve the puzzle. Okay. Well. I'm not even sure who some of these people is. Like, I know that's Samuel McAdams, or whatever his name is. That's Davies. That's John. Uh, I'm not sure which one is which. I th think that's Joey Gothals, and that's Anthony Longmore. But who the hell is that? Is that Sully? I'm just, I'm looking at the side of his face. Okay. I'm not really sure what to make of this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I know I have all the pieces, right? I have the, the paintings, the color associated with them, and then which color is associated with which person. 
Other than green, I don't know that one. But then what the hell am I doing here? Like, is this just sorted... I don't know, let's just go in order. Alright. That's John. John is purple. Next one. I think that's Joey, which I don't have on my list. Hold on. Wait. Which one's Joey? Alright, it's so not that one, not that one. Not that one. It's not even that one, actually. The one on the green painting. It's... Was it that? Mm, I think it was this one? Anthony Longmore? Okay, yeah, and that's the... Yeah, the one of him cleaning is Anthony Longmore. Okay. Yep, okay. Alright, now I know who's who. Alright. Alright, so we have John, Joey Gothals, I think that's Sully, Anthony Longmore, Samuel, and Davies. So, in order, I'm assuming this is all just in order. We have John, which is purple, we have Joey Gothals, which is not on here. We have Sully, which is not on here. Then we have Anthony Longmore, which is green. And then Samuel, which is blue. And Davies, which is white. Please tell me I did that right. Alright. Purple. Green. Blue. And white. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck me. Ugh, still love. I have everything I need. I know I have everything I need. Hold on just a second. Let me take a look at this. What's on here? Oh, I got the wrong one. Okay, I got the wrong one. That's the problem. So go back here. Is it Joey? Yeah, alright, Joey. It's not Anthony, it's Joey. Joey is green. Alright, so go back to here. Alright, this should be it. So, we have, once again, John, which is purple. And then we have Joey, which is green. Sully, not on there. Anthony Longmore, not on there. Samuel, which is blue, and Davies, which is white. Okay. That should do it, I think. Purple. Green. Blue and white. Please, please, please. Are you serious? Still. What am I missing? I feel like I've been pretty fucking thorough. Maybe it's not sorted? Maybe I need to sort them? Okay, well, let me just sort it just based on my own knowledge, alright? So... Well, Joey Gothal suffered after... Yeah, after Davies. So it'd be Davies. Which is white. And then... Joey. Which is green. And then I don't know about John and Samuel, because they're both still alive. They haven't died. So it's either white, green, purple, blue... Or white, green, blue, purple. Well, let's try both. So, white, green, purple, blue. Oh, damn it. Well, actually, that solves the other one. Blue, purple. Cross that off, is that it? No. 
Okay. <sighs> White. Green. Purple. Blue. Please. Please. Please work. <gasps> uh... <sighs> Still. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's right here, it's right in front of my freaking face, and I don't get it. What am I missing? The order in which they suffered. Wait a minute. Wait, Joey, Joey, wait, didn't Joey suffer last? He was the last one to get killed. Yeah, he's the one that was dropped, right? Yeah, once Joey starts to, okay, okay, okay. But then what about John and Samuel? I don't understand, when did they suffer? Well, I know Davies was first. Alright, so white, and then at the end is going to be Joey, which is green, so I need the in-between two, John and Samuel. I don't know if it's listed in his book, uh, journal I mean, Longmore, no, it doesn't really say. Mm. Alright, let me look, look at the other one, my case files. All right, John. She, I mean, he hasn't suffered. She doesn't even seem to hate him. I don't understand. Why is he even on here? What am I missing? Like, I mean, the others have some... Like, this one, that's the green painting. I don't know what this is. Like, is this another painting that has a color associated with it that I've missed? And this is another one that I haven't seen. So there's two things listed here that I definitely would expect to be in the mix, but I don't have any color associated with them. I feel like I'm missing those. Like, why would they be here if there wasn't some color associated with them? That would make sense, right? Because I have two that are undiscovered, and I also have two people on here that aren't even dead. I have John and Samuel. They shouldn't be in my list. They haven't suffered. So where would I find these colors if it's not the paintings? Huh. I actually kind of like these. Yeah, sure, it looks nice. And when it's sunny out, I bet the bird shit on it just glows. <laughs> uh. I love the strange thoughts that she has. Always so cynical. I mean, where else would I find a name associated with any of this? Do I have to switch back to Cordelia? Now, what if I go back up here? I know there's a bunch of models and stuff. But I don't think they have names associated with them. At least not from Erica's perspective. I know there's that saying... Nope. It looks like a per... Nope. Yeah, there's nothing. So, maybe I do it from here. Would you please get your brother for us? FBI? Miss? Yes. Now please get Max for us. I will, but... 
I need your help. It's hard to explain, but I can sometimes see things. Things that will happen. Usually they're just small, but lately there's something bad. Max, I see him getting killed. Miss Smith, is your brother in danger? Yes. Well, not right now. I... I know I sound crazy, but please listen. In my visions, Max is murdered, shot. It's never been like this before. Honey, why are you telling us this? Look, this is serious. My visions come true. You have to help him. That's what you do, right? I'm serious. This is a new one for me. For me too. We could call McCoy in. <laughs> He'd eat this right up. As if John's diet doesn't have enough nonsense in it already. John McCoy? He can help? Sorry, honey. We are not the police. We are here to see yes. your brother. <laughs> Did I hear my name? We have some questions for you, Mr. Smith. And a warrant. What the hell is this about? There are some papers on the dining room table. Get them out of here. So, some questions, huh? What do you got for me? What? What papers? Uh, dining room table? Those, oh, uh, you seem to have already found them. Hmm. It's a bit of a mess. Max has been working on something big, I guess. Yes, and apparently I have to get rid of them. I'm sure he hasn't done something suspicious, no. Do I have anything? Are they over here? Here we go. These look like the papers I got Keith to sign last week. What are they doing out? Why does he want me to get rid of them? What the hell? What shady business has he been doing? All right, let's take them. I'll just take these. Hey, don't touch anything here until after we've been through it. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh the hell can I do? Can I use my powers at all? I'm sorry, it's been a long day. It's about to be a longer one. Let's go. Go? What do you mean? You... No. To the station. These papers we found beg some questions. Questions we want to ask in a more... controlled environment. Sam, let's go. No. They can't do that. I need to stop them. Rose said some events are malleable and can be shaped. Maybe I can do that now. Yeah, let's change this, although I am curious what the hell is on them that would warrant arresting him. Or at least taking him in for questioning, but I think I'm going to fail this, because they're looking at me and I don't know what to do. I... I really have no idea what to do. What can I do to distract them? I don't even have any items. They're all looking my way. Uh, strike up a conversation? How's it going, Samuel? Or Sammy? Do you prefer to be called What's Sammy? What's this about? Or Sam Sam? Your brother there? He's going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. Okay, well, what is this situation? That he came into a lot of money. Yeah, from our parents. They died when we were younger. So what? No, not that. This is now the second time a death has brought your brother wealth. What? No! Max wouldn't do anything like that! You're crazy! Why would you think that? We came across the records of a death that was never reported. We found a death certificate and a will, but no examination, no obituary or funeral. Hell, no body. This guy was just made to disappear. It would have slipped right by us if we hadn't gotten an anonymous tip. All this guy's assets ended up in your brother's lap. This is some kind of mistake. What was the name of this person Max supposedly inherited from? Maybe this can all be cleared up. Jeff Therian. Aha! Uh -huh. Ever heard of him? No, never. Exactly. If he existed and had left millions to your brother, you probably would have. I need to get back to work here, Miss Smith. So maybe that paper was Jeff signing away his assets or something like that? And then he died? That is extremely suspicious, Max. What have you been up to? Well, there's no point in asking that. I already know this is extremely serious. Uh, go look upstairs? <laughs> Would that really work? Just Could you just go away and just leave me alone? Because I'm, I'm totally not going to, like, remove evidence from the scene. 
Have you looked around upstairs yet? No. My other brother is up there. You might want to talk to him. Thanks, but I prefer to be methodical, and I'm working on this room right now. I don't follow offhand advice. I follow the evidence, and I follow my gut. That's all for now. Okay, let's save the game, because I haven't done that in a while. Uh, let me go talk to Keith. Maybe he can do something to distract them.